Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we're going to be looking at what it's like to attack in the top 200 in uh, the Global uh, Legend League leaderboards. And today, we're going to analyze a couple of attacks I did while I was number 103 uh, in the world. This was a couple days ago. And if you'd like to see more uh, Legend League attacks, I have a uh, Raze Gaming 2 channel down in the description below where I post basically every triple I have uh, I do that day and upload it the next day, so if you'd like to check that out, uh, go ahead and subscribe to that. So anyway, you run into Stephanie a lot, and with that you run into a lot of new bases that um, you never see before, and then uh, you just randomly run into a base and then you find out uh, a couple days later that you see Stephanie running that base, and that's kind of interesting. It shows how bases sort of... Um, a leak down to the lower levels of Legend League, and while you're at the top, uh, in, at, while you're at the top of Legend League, you get to see the bases before they get, you know, trickled down below. So I go into the Queen Charge, taking out the Eagle and the Inferno Tower, and then eventually going down to the CC and the, um, the Scatter Shots, and making sure to poison the CC right away, and that way. The Ice Golems don't have a chance to uh, slow down the Queen as much, and that way the Queen is able to take them down a lot faster. So now with the Hybrid going down at 5 o'clock, just with the... Um, w intending to just sweep through the bottom of the base, and eventually get into the Town Hall. And then... Uh, Warden Ability early, in order to catch everything. So then they can uh, get a lot more damage off on the inside of the base. And then we'll have a heal spell directly on the town hall to make sure that the hog riders that do get caught up in there uh, don't lose uh, all their health right away and have a fighting chance to get through it uh, without the help of the warden ability. So now it's just up to the queen and the uh, queen and the miners in order to take down the Scatter shot, and then that's the last threat left in the base. So with the um, with the RC still up, still doing a lot of damage to the defenses, we're able to take down the rest of the base pretty quickly, and that is it for base number one. So in Legend League. It's really interesting how fast that you can drop off and uh, go back up in Legend League. And it's a lot easier at the start of Legend League than the uh, the middle. Uh, I was at 103 on this account, and I ran a base that I probably shouldn't have tested in Legend League. And got, like, tripled six times in a row, and that was really... That was not a fun time. So, pretty much all my accounts are now back down to, like, the mid-5300s. So that's unfortunate, but... It was nice to be at the top when uh, uh, at one point, and it makes it... Uh, I always look forward to seeing the bases, and that's kind of the joy that I get out of Legend League, seeing all these new bases. So here's one that's really taking Legend League by storm. It's basically just having the Town Hall in the middle, and then having basically everything else in one compartment, or in this case, two compartments. So the flaw with this base uh, in in the way that it's built right now, is the Eagle Artillery is too close to the outside wall, meaning that the Queen's able to reach it. So um, that means that the Queen's able to walk really close to the wall, and then she'll eventually going to, going to get inside the base. Now if, if the Eagle was one tile further back, like towards the Town Hall, then it's possible that the Queen wouldn't have gone inside, and then that would have been the end of the raid basically. Because having the queen on the outside of the wall with the single inferno tower, three expos on her, uh, wouldn't have spelled, uh, wouldn't have been likely to get the three star there. But with the queen inside the base, she's able to take down all those expos and able to walk around and get to the town hall. Now that's really important because I dropped the siege barracks at the start or at the top. Um, so the queen's able to get the town hall and then. The miners are able to just wreck through the side of the base. And having that narrow pathway really allows them to get right through it. So yeah, that's basically how to deal with this base, but it's really... 
it's not easy to actually do this on every style of base. There's a couple of different styles of this, um, this sort of just spread out random base. There's a lot of different styles of it that it's possible that, or this one style of attack isn't going to work on every single style of base. So that's what's really interesting about this sort of base design. I guess with like other strategies I see in Legend League, basically all the other styles are um, some sort of Yeti smash. So yeah, so I guess with the Yeti smash, it would just go all through the base and have no idea. You'd have no idea how to actually funnel that, and actually get into the town hall at any kind of any kind of um, like frequency. Uh, a decent frequency. So here, the base isn't really that interesting. We've seen that for a couple of seasons now. But what is interesting is that this is Da M of um, Nova Maudo. So that's an interesting thing to see these um, famous players at the top of Legend League. I think he was in the, um, he was above 100, uh, 100th place at the time. And this is just one of his accounts. He has a lot of them. So with the queen at the top and king on the side, just making the funnel for the miners and the hog portion to get right inside the base. Have to really be quick on that freeze for the queen and the um, warden. Otherwise, the queen would have no way of um, actually staying alive there. So now just waiting on the miners and the hogs and dropping everything in the middle. So then hopefully they'll take out the core and then Queen can uh, walk on the outside and take the rest of it, but that's not exactly what happens in this case. Warden ability through the core, and then it takes out all the, or it tries to take out all the expos in the town hall. A little bit early on that warden ability, just like half a second early. Uh, otherwise, we would have saved a bunch of health on the hog riders, but most of the miners were out of the way anyway. So a bunch of miners left, but the queen's not in a good position with the um, eagle artillery on her. So she's going to get taken down at this point. And now it's just up to the warden, RC, and a couple of miners. But luckily there's not much of the rest of this base, because everything's stacked up in the core. So sometimes, depending on the base, it's a good idea to just funnel one side with the king, one side with the queen, and just put everything down the middle. That's basically these, these type of bases with... Uh, giant cores and well, nothing else on the outside. We're just gonna wait for the warden and the miners to clean up, and we're also waiting for the uh, waiting for the warden to actually get that mortar before taking down the uh, balloons. So we may ha we may have a smaller chance of a time fail. So yeah, we'll have one more base left, and that'll conclude the types of bases that we see in the top of Legend League. So yeah, here's the sort of uh, diamond style, teaser, diamond teaser sort of base that's really prevalent in, in the sort of mid-ranges of Legend League, but this is a slightly different style, I think, where it's more like an anti-3 style, where there's, there's some variations where it's the most popular variation is where it's just a really long base from the top to the bottom, with the town hall at 6 o'clock, and then you basically just have the entire base in a thin line. But in this case, we have uh, like a huge base with nothing at the top, so it makes it a little bit different for... Uh, a little bit different than what, you, what sort of strat would you use on those typical... Uh, teaser base. Still coming in from the side, just like I said in one of my previous videos, and taking down uh, out of the way of the sweepers and out of the way of both, like, out of the way of most of the defense at the same time. So what also made this base a lot easier is that there isn't everything in the right side or in, by the town hall. So there's not four expos, there's just two expos, and the slingshots, scatter shots, are um, 
farther apart than they would be. Like, they're not right next to the town hall, so it's not targeting the queen at the same time. So that helps a lot with the queen charge. And then being able to freeze the scattershot and the expo at the same time makes it a lot easier. And then we just have the siege barracks and the king coming in from the left side to take down the part that there really isn't any base. And then just having the miners and the hogs casually stroll through the middle. Uh, trying to help them on their way to the final Inferno Tower, which is the really which is the really um, the final defense that actually matters. And they're able to take that down right now. After they take down the um, skellies. Always put skellies by your single infernos. Really helps out a lot on defense. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.